Welcome to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So we are going to proceed with our video on Blazor. So on previous video, we actually added our students' uh, data. So we, we are able to add a student's data. Then let me just add some data. So when you save this, you should be able to see the data being saved and you are able to edit this to something else. So that is part of the series that you have done for those who are new to this channel. Then you can be able to delete. So you are able to delete the data from our list. Then we also did something on countries. So you are able to add a new country. So you are able to add a new country. So this is Sudan. So if we save this, we're able to save the data to our database and you can actually delete the country. Now, today's video, when you see one of our students, when you add a student, you can see we are requiring to have, uh, we are required to provide the student country. And we have, we are required to provide the student country. And we have the, we have the countries list here. So what I want us to do, instead of typing on our countries, when uh, on, on the countries when adding students, I want us to pre-populate the list of uh, countries from this uh, data that we just added. So to do that, let's just go back to our code. So this is our code for, so we have uh, two folders. Let me just close this. So on our students folder, we have under pages, you have the countries and the students folder. So under students folder, we have add new country. So the add new country as a component is what we are going to modify on this video today. So what I want us to do on this, where we have countries here, I want us to change this to input select. So input select, then this is for country, class name, we have a country then the binding value is the country. Now, within the within here, I want us to do something. I want us to, for this input select, instead of closing it this way, I want us to do this. Then we say input select. Then inside here, I want us to have the options. So I want us to have the first option. So you'll say option, then you can say value, then you can have empty, then you can say the first option is select. So this will be what will be seen before any country is selected. Then after that, I want us to define a list of countries. So let's come down here inside the code. Then I want us to define a list of countries so this will provide our country there then you can say this is countries so you can say this is countries so once we do that so you can actually do this you can say public then you can say so you can actually say get set so i want us to get a list of countries now we can actually let's do this let's just initialize instead of doing that you can initialize this and you say new list country then you can do that so we have our list of countries but now how do we get this list of countries the list of countries remember we created a service to get the list of countries so under services we have the country service on this country service, we have an endpoint to give us the list of all the countries that we have added. So when you come to our app, when you come to our API, just here, you'll see under controllers, we have the countries. So let's, so if we go to our page, so let's go to the page, add, add student. So we've defined our list countries here. So what I want us to do, how do we get now the countries from here? 
So remember we have our countries list. So I want us to assign this countries list some data. So these countries, we can assign it the, the list of the countries that we register and we can get the list of countries from the country service. Then we just do get all. So this will give us all the countries that we've registered and assign it to this uh, collection here. So then now when we come to our options here, I want us to look through. So you can say now at for each, you can do at for each, then we say the country in. So I want us to look through our countries. Then we can do here within each of these, I want us to present the values. Eh? So the value will be at, so we'll, we'll present the value will be at country. Then what do we need? The ID or we can save the name. Just, let's just save the name. So the name of the country. Then what needs to be displayed as well is the at country, then the name. So this is the value that will be displayed for the user to choose, but the value that will be supplied to the database is actually this one. So this is the options. And let's see how our app will look like. So we now have a list of countries here and we'll be able to see the collection from here. So let's launch our app and see what will happen. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, like the video, comment down below, and let us know what you feel we need to do. So let's go and see. So that is it. So our app has launched. So if we go to country students, then add, you can see we have, so we can add the student name, the middle name, the last name, the email address, the student address, the phone number. Then countries, you can see we don't have the list of countries. So why don't we have this list of the countries? So if we come here, I think we added this in the wrong place. So we need to initialize. Yes, so we need to initialize that. So what we need to do is protected. So we can say protected. Then we say override async. Then we say ta uh, task. Then on, on initialize. So we'll do on initialize. On initialized async. Sync. So you do that. So on initialized async. So we need now to have this. So we need to get the list of countries just on when this is initialized. But now, so this is a protected override async task. So there's something that we need to, I think we can actually reuse what we had done on our student list. So this will be on initialize and do this. Let's just add it on our here. So on initialized async, yes. So that is the correct name. So let me just zoom. So if we just launch now our app, we expect to see the list of countries. We expect to see the list of countries within our form. So if we go to students, then add, if we click here, you'll see we have now the list of countries, Kenya, Tanzania, United States. So let's, let me just save testing country, testing country. Let me just leave that one. Then testing, testing, testing. Then we do here. Uh, let's give it some numbers. Then we say this is uh, Rwanda. So if we click save, we need to see the country here. 
So let's add the country on our grid under the students list. So under the students list, we can add the country. So let's just add the country. We see if uh, our option worked. So when we come here, we can now have the country. Then let's launch our app. Then you'll we'll need to see all the list of the countries with, with the respective students. So if we go to students, there you go. So you can see we have Rwanda here. So if I click again and save another student, then we choose the name to be United States of America and save it. You see the name of the, of the country is being saved. So that is how we can actually do a cascading drop down, at least a, a drop down list from our Reza page and our app. So we have just added this. So on our next video, we'll actually try to now add a cascading drop down list on, on Blazor. So that is it for today. And uh, remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. See you in our next video. Bye. Thank you.